okay Aquarius so I am doing the torn between two um, I'm using the pagan tarot to represent person number one all right and I am using the gilded tarot royale to represent person number two feel free to fast forward through the shuffling the cards have been pre-shuffled I meditated um, all that good stuff but it's gonna take me just a couple of seconds to get this out all right so right here with the romance angels I am um, setting the intention for this is how you feel about person number one for Aquarius all right and person number two okay Aquarius we have person number two coming out with retreat I will go back and forth on these cards too as we go through the reading um, and then over here person number one is new love okay I'm sorry about that what I feel like okay you've been with person number two for some time and I feel like um, even though the retreat card looks like they're getting married or coming from a wedding I'm sorry you can't even see those I guess it don't really matter though Um, anyway, I feel like, <laughs> I feel like retreat is coming out because you are retreating from this person and into this person's arms. Okay. Um, person number one, new love person. These have been pre-shuffled. Like I said earlier, I'm just going to give it a few more shuffles and get this spread out for you guys so feel free to fast forward i don't think these videos are very long okay that's card um three oops oops you weren't supposed to see it one three seven and we'll get person number two on the board yeah right All right, and then we have two, four, six, and eight. Okay. Aquarius, what does person number one represent? So we have new love coming out. This new love, what do they mean to your life? New beginnings. All right, so this person is new. Um, I feel like they are new everything to you, okay? This person right here has been something that you've kind of been looking for. Um, I want to say all your life, all right, but you've been in um, a, a situation I feel like that doesn't, um, I don't want to say serve you because, you know, when we go through rela relationships, especially karmics, um, they are here to help build us. They're here to make us grow. They are here to, um, the karmics and the people, it's not a waste of time. Okay. I'll just say it like that. It's not a waste of time. Person number two, what did they represent? We have, um, the moon card. Okay. What does this person represent? I feel like it's, um, I almost feel like it's you keeping secrets from them because you're, you're going over here and, um, entertaining this, um, energy over here okay what can you get out of relationship number one we have the three of cups all right so this is celebration but I also feel like with this coming out it's like you kind of uh almost feeling bad about putting somebody in third party but um you kind of have to release what doesn't serve you okay um I I don't judge any situation that I come across just because nobody's innocent everybody has um secrets and and 
closet skeletons and whatever. I mean, I don't care. Um, this right here is just simply to help you get clarity on your situation. So what is this person? Um, or I'm sorry, what can you get out of this relationship? We have nine of wands. All right. So nine of wands is, um, um, it is a form of determination, but I feel like, too, it's also about laying it down, being determined enough to just let it go, all right? Um, I all, I do almost feel like somebody's holding on to something right here, whether it's your person or you. I feel like somebody's holding on to something in this um, area, and I, I don't really feel like it's a... Uh, um, I, I, I don't know. I, I want to say I don't really feel like it's worth kind of clinging on to. I feel like it's an empty cling, all right? Um, problems that can arise from this relationship number one we have the initiate of swords so we have queen of swords coming out as a problem yeah um this just came into my head right now and I'm like okay this right here ah uh, Okay, I almost feel like you guys took a break. I do feel like I'm talking to a married couple, a married person. I feel like you guys took a break. You met somebody else, all right, and they embodied new love, new everything. But then we come into problems, and I almost feel like this person is starting to show you a side of them that you didn't see before. And I almost feel like you are kind of contemplating maybe you dropped this too early without trying. Okay, maybe you dropped it without trying because um, now you got a uh, naggy pants McGee over here and I feel like you're starting to see their true colors come out and you, I almost feel like you are contemplating coming back over here if you should give it another chance over here. Ooh, I don't know why I'm saying that, but that's, that's somebody. Problems that can arise over here. We have the chariot and that could be that this person actually has been done with you and your energy okay that could be a problem for some of you um, for some of you it could be that this um, they do want to get back with you but they want to take it slow and I feel like you're almost going to be in like this um, living situation debacle okay uh, stuff just comes to my head sometimes guys so I'm sorry I'm not trying to be all over the board but I almost feel like this um, for some of you I feel like you do want to heal the connection but I almost feel like this person is going to it's not going to be your way. You know what I mean? I don't know. Oh my God. Okay. I got to stop. I, I'm getting confused. All right. Your advice for person number one, nine of wands. So this is basically the outcome for this over here, this situation over here. Okay. I feel like you are going to start to see, I, I feel like new and then you're realizing, recognizing third party, it was wrong. And then this person is starting to, I almost feel like this person is kind of realizing that your energy is not all the way taken away from this person. And that's why they're starting to be bitch mode. Okay. I, that's how I am seeing it. Um, and it could be that you have kids over here and this person over here is like overly questioning why you are putting energy into this over here. But it's like, this is my family. I have kids over here. Okay. I have to do this. Um, the advice for over here, we have the two of swords. And this right here, um, I almost feel like this person right here is just saying, um, do what you got to do, figure it out. And then let me know when you do, because I don't want to be a part of your drama. And I feel like this right here is the drama. Hmm. I, I totally seen that going another way, but yeah, I feel like you retreated from this person to go over here or you guys took a break. You met somebody new. I feel like the break over here was just supposed to be temporary, but you ended up meeting this person and, um, this kind of got drawn out. And then this person was like, are you going to do it? Are you going to do it? Are you going to do it? Like, I, I feel like they became naggy, naggy, and then more naggy. And then now you're questioning if you shouldn't come back over here to this person, whatever you decide to do, Aquarius, just make sure it's fair for all parties. Okay. I'm just going to pull a romance angel, <laughs> the sexual magic tarot. I want to see what the chemistry is between each person. 
So for Aquarius, how do they feel about person number one? And we got another three of swords and four of cups. So three of swords, um, heartbreak. All right. But how do you feel about them? I do feel like this in the beginning was very passionate, but I feel like, um, I feel like too, you could have just been going through broken heart mode because of you and this person, the retreat. And, you know, I feel like that, this might've just started out to be fun. Um, and then four of cups came um, up over here, four of cups energy. Um, <laughs> I feel like, uh, uh, I almost feel like this person is trying to extend their offer, you know, like in the, in the original tarot and you're not taking it. How do they feel about this person right here? Is that, that's, uh, yeah, too many. How do they feel about this person? Queen of Swords. Okay, I feel like you almost look at this person over here in a different light. Um, I almost feel like this person over here is your baby mama, baby daddy, whatever. Um, I do. I feel like this person over here, uh, you almost respect them more than this person over here. Um, anyway, okay. Aquarius, I apologize if I called you Libra earlier. I don't know if I did or not, but I almost feel like I did. Um, I'm going to leave it right here. And whoever this is for, I hope you got some clarity on your situation. Um, let me see. Let me just pull a card over here. Um, if Aquarius decides to come back, what happens? What happens with um, person number two if they get back together? So if you decide to get back with person number two, okay. Okay. So five of pentacles came out first. All right. So obviously this person is going to tell you how they feel um, about you and the situation and the abandonment and the other things that have arose. But I do feel like with the 10 of wands coming out, this is something that after you guys communicate, it's going to be something that you guys are able to let go of. Um, because then we have the two of wands coming out and it's like, I almost feel like there's dark all back here and that was the past. And now you guys are walking through this. All right. Y'all are brave. You're going to walk through, um, you're going to walk through that mess. All right. I do feel like there is light at the end of the tunnel on the situation right here. Um, and I, um, geez, I'm getting the chills so much tonight. Um, this is like when I hit on something, I just feel like, uh, when this is an overbody chill. I do feel like you guys are going to be taken off. Um, you're going to be um, repairing, renewing. All right. Um, that I, I do feel like that's confirmation if somebody was thinking about coming back over here. Okay, guys. For those of you who are not thinking about coming back over here and you're really not feeling this one, I feel like almost your advice is to um, take a break and just be by yourself for a while and um, re rejuvenate and reevaluate who you are inside yourself. Okay. Aquarius. I'm going to leave it right there. I will talk to you guys again soon.